Hi my dear students. Today we are going to study data objects. What are the data objects? Data object is basically a VHDL element. In the last video we studied the different types of the basic elements available in the VHDL. How many types of the basic elements are available? There are the four basic elements are there. They are identifiers, data objects, data types and the operators. Okay. In the last class we studied the identifiers. Okay. In this class we are going to study the data objects. What are the data objects? Data objects holds a value of a specified type. Here type is nothing but data types. Okay. Any one object that holds the data, then they are called the data objects. Okay. It is created by means of an object declaration. Okay. That we will study one by one. There are mainly four types of the data objects are there in the VHDL. They are constants, variables, signals and the file type. First, let us study the constant. What is a constant? So by the just say by see by the by seeing this uh, word also we can say that constant is nothing but the values cannot be changed. Here also the same meaning we are going to say the values of the constant object is not going to change during the execution process. Okay. That means we are going to give the values of the data object constants before the execution. Okay. Before the execution, we are going to give the values. The values of this constant cannot be changed during the execution process. Okay. Here you can see constant. What is constant? An object of constant class can hold a single value of a given type. This value is assigned to the constant before simulation starts. Okay. And the, val the value cannot be changed during the course of the simulation. If in the program we are using the sub programs, then how we are going to give the values to the constant means whenever you are calling the sub program, we have to assign the constant values. Actually, what is the sub program means? It is a one small program that is going to perform a particular task. Okay, in the main program, we are calling that program again and again. If any one process can be repeated in your program, then sub programs are written. Okay, in that type of the situation, whenever you are calling again and again that sub program, we have to assign the values of the constant whenever you are calling the program okay next here you are going to see how the constants are declared in the program okay usually what happens constants are declared using the keyword constant and next we are going to write the object name and next we have to write the types. I already told it is a object is nothing but what? It holds the value of a type and next assigning the values. Okay. Always the constant declaration begin with the keyword constant. What is keyword? Keyword is a reserved words. The meaning or the spellings of the keywords cannot be changed. Okay. 
and here what happens rise time is a one object it is of the type time okay and its value is 10 nanoseconds okay and next remember that in the second one bus width is a one object it is of the type integer and its value is the 8. Okay. These two are the examples for the declaration of the constants. And here you are going to see the another one example. What it is telling means here it starts with constant and next the number of inputs is nothing but it is the object and it is of the type integer. What is the difference between this example and this example means here the value is not assigned to this constant. Okay. And usually this type of the constant declaration we are using in only package declarations. Okay. And this type of the constant declaration is called the deferred constant that you have to remember. Okay. Next, let us study the different types of the data objects, uh, different types. That is, first we completed the constants. So, in the beginning of the video, what I told, we are having the four types of the data objects. In that first one is the constant that just now we have completed. Next one is the variable. Next one is the signal and next is the file. Let us study the variable. What are the variables? So, once again, if we go with the word variable is nothing but what the values is going to change. Here also, the object of a variable can also hold a single value of a given type. But in this case, different values can be assigned to the variable at different times using a variable assignment statement. Okay. So, let us repeat the variable. What is variable? An object of a variable class can also hold a single value of a given type. But in this case, what happens? Values can be assigned to the variable at different times using variable assignment statement. Okay. First, let us see the examples of variable declaration. Afterwards, we will come the definition for the signal. Okay. This is what the examples for the variable declaration. So, once again what happens? The declaration of this is starts with the keyword variable. Next what happens? Name of the variable. Next type of the variable. Okay. Here you see variable is a keyword. Control underscore status is the variable object name. And next it is of the type bit vector 10 down to 0. Bit vector is a data type. Control status is a one variable. It is of the type vector. Vector means what and more than one values is assigned. How many values are assigned? That is 10 down to 0. That is 10, 9, 8 till 0. Okay. This is one type. Next variable. Sum and it is of the type integer is range from 0 to 100 that is equal to 10 okay next one is the variable found done and it is of the type boolean boolean is also a one data type boolean is nothing but here we are having the true or the false okay the first declaration specifies variable of the control status an array of 11 elements with each array element of the type bit Okay, that is 10 to 0. 10 to 0 if you count means it is 11. Okay. So, let us study once again the next data objects that is the signal. What is the signal means actually 
in the signal class it holds the list of the values which includes the current values of the signal and a set of possible future values that are to appear on the signals okay future values can be assigned to the signal using a signal assignment statement in detail we are going to study what are the signal assignment statements in the next videos okay let us study what is the signal signal is nothing but it is a one of the data object it holds the list of the values which includes the current value of the signal and the set of possible future values to appear on the signal future values can be assigned to the signal using the signal assignment statement okay presently don't worry about this signal assignment statement that i will explain in the later videos okay now let us go to the declaration of the signal how we are going to declare the signals here these are the some examples once again it is very easy that all the data object should start with the keyword that is the if you are declaring the signal data object the data object should start with the signal keyword okay almost for all the three it is same if just i remember for you means constant data object start with constant keyword variable data object start with variable keyword similarly signal data object start with the signal keyword okay so here it start with signal clock clock is a name of the signal and it is of the type bit next is the signal data underscore bus and bit vector that is to 0 to 7 okay in this way you can declare all the examples and here the sum same the thing is explained here it is of the signal and it is of the type also just you go through it once again okay next the last one is the file an object belongs to an object belongs to the file class contains a sequence of values values can be read or written to the file using read procedures and write procedures respectively okay all of we know what is the file file is nothing but we are going to write the information in the file or we are going to retrieve retrieve is nothing but read the informations okay so what here what happens an object belonging to the file class contains a sequence of values values can be read or written to the file using a read procedures and write procedures respectively okay let us see the example of the uh, how to declare this file okay so here you can see file declaration how the file declaration and this is this shows you the syntax okay a file declare using file the syntax of this file declaration is file once again here this file is the keyword okay and name of the file and file type name open mode is string expression okay the string expression is interpreted by the host environment as the physical name of the file the mode is specified whether the file is to be opened in read mode write mode 
are the append mode. Okay. File and here where the file name is there. It is the file type name. And next open is the keyword. Remember that open and is is the keyword. Mode is nothing but in three modes we are going to open that. Um, we are going to write that mode is nothing but three ways. If you have written R then the file is opened in read mode. If we have written A, then the file is opened in append mode. Append is nothing but both you can read and write. But if you have written only for the write means, you are going to write that file. Is and string expression is nothing but it is name of the file. Okay. Let us hope all of you understood this one. Students, please read again and again this one. If you have any doubts, then you can put your doubts in the comment box or in the telegram group. Okay. Thank you. Let us meet in the next video.